Hello everybody and welcome to this macroeconomic video on the causes of inflation. So if you remember back to our last inflation video, inflation is a sustained rise in price, prices. So what causes this rise in price? Well we have two types of causes. We have demand pull causes and supply push causes. Now our demand pull causes will be anything that increases aggregate demand. Because if you remember in the last video, I showed you that if aggregate demand increased and the curve shifted right, our price increased from P1 to P2, so therefore the price level increased, so therefore inflation occurred, because inflation is a rise in price. So what causes this increase in aggregate demand? Well, if we look at our formula, AD equals C plus I plus G plus X minus M, if there is an increase in consumption, or if there is an increase in investment, or if there is an increase in government spending, then aggregate demand will increase, the curve will shift right, the price level will increase from P1 to P2, so therefore there has been inflation because price has risen. So if any one of the first three things increases, consumption, investment or government spending, then inflation will occur. Also, if imports fall or exports rise, then the number we get from that bracket part of the formula will increase. And if that increases, then there will be an increase in aggregate demand, curve will shift right, price will increase from P1 to P2, so therefore inflation has occurred. And also if there is an increase in demand but not an increase in supply, the increase in supply could cancel out the inflation. But if there is an increase in demand but no increase in supply, then the price level will rise from P1 to P2, as shown by a shift of the curve. So therefore, inflation has occurred. Now on to our supply push causes. Now the first thing I'd like to point out is I made a small mistake here. Where I said there is an increase in the price of imports, if there is an increase in the price of imports, we will import less because they're less attractive to buy because they're more expensive. So therefore imports will fall, therefore the bracket part of the aggregate demand curve will increase, therefore aggregate demand will rise, causing inflation. So that really should be in demand pull on the other side. But what are our real supply push causes of inflation? Well. If firms sell only inelastic goods, then inflation will occur. And this is because an inelastic good is one where demand does not change that much if there is a change in price. So this means that businesses selling inelastic goods know that they can increase their price and increase their price and increase their price all the time, but they won't lose that much demand. So if they are increasing their prices, then there is a sustained rise in prices, so therefore inflation occurs, because inflation is a rise in prices. Also, if the government increases indirect taxes, this increases the costs of production for businesses. So therefore, businesses' profit margins decrease. So therefore, they say, hang on a second, I'm not making as much money. I'm going to exit the market. So that therefore, there, that therefore means that supply will decrease, or aggregate supply in macroeconomics. And as I showed in the last video again, if there is a decrease in aggregate supply, and our curve shifts up from SRAS1 to SRAS2, then our price level increases from P1 to P2, therefore inflation has occurred because the price has risen. And also, if there is a wage rise, and this really should come under demand as well. If there is a wage rise, people can buy more, therefore they will demand more, therefore aggregate demand will increase as consumption increases, so therefore the price level rises from P1 to P2, so therefore inflation occurs, as inflation is a rise in price. 